Performance is absolutely critical to delivering a good UX and also plays a big role in optimizing your website for SEO. I mean, you could even be leaving money on the table when slow loading times can potentially cause conversion rates to drop. So let's see how we can use Cloudinary to optimize our images in a Laravel application. Although the majority of things that we're going to be covering today can be done using the transformation URL API from Cloudinary, we're going to be using the Cloudinary Laravel package to help make things easier for us. I have a pretty simple image gallery here. This could be an e-commerce site, a blog, or a photo sharing site, where every time we scroll, we start to load more images. And those images can be optimized better because they are loading fairly slowly. Now, these images aren't actually uploaded to Cloudinary just yet. So why don't we do that and then we will optimize them for performance. Now, I have a URL path for all these images, but I need them uploaded into Cloudinary. So I went ahead and wrote an easy PHP route where basically once I hit this route, we're going to take all of those images, upload them to Cloudinary and get the Cloudinary ID. Now, this is critical for us to use this to display the images and then optimize them in our Laravel application. Once that code has run after hitting that route, we have a Cloudinary ID for each one of those images. Now, since I've already installed the Cloudinary Laravel SDK, why don't we start optimizing these images? Now, currently we're using the image HTML tag to deliver these images instead of using the Cloudinary Blade component that is provided with the Cloudinary Laravel SDK. The Blade component that the Laravel Cloudinary SDK provides is x-cld-image. Now, just a heads up, the Cloudinary Laravel Blade component that comes included with the Laravel SDK does not have some of the functionality that we're going to be using today. So I kind of built my own component and that component is right here. We're going to actually use cloud dash image. Now, instead of this source, we're going to actually use the cloudinary public ID to display this image. So that's going to be public ID. And here we're going to do image cloudinary ID. Now that's where we save the public ID to our database. So that way it's easier for us to display all of the images that we just uploaded. Now, if we were to refresh, take a look, all of these images are now being displayed through Cloudinary. So if we were to go ahead and inspect this, we can see here that this Im image is actually coming from Cloudinary. But let's take a look at this image size right here. The rendered size is only 300 by 450 pixels. The intrinsic size of the image is massive, as well as the file size, 2.8 megabytes. And if we were to take a look by saving the image and seeing that this is actually a JPEG, so we can make this a lot better. And the good thing is Cloudinary, and especially with the Cloudinary Laravel SDK, makes this incredibly simple. So if we were to go to our cloud image component. Again, these are the extra features that I added, but you can add this to your vendor file or creating your own image, just basically echoing out the Cloudinary helper function that Cloudinary Laravel SDK provides. So first we're going to change the format. So why don't we add this in and then let's see what this does. Refresh. You can see that was a lot quicker right off the gate. And let's take a look why. We're still loading a pretty large image in terms of size, but the file size has shrunk massively. And now if we were to check the file type of this image, we see that it's actually an AVIF. You might have a WebP image as well, but that file size, that image size has definitely shrunk. And actually in our component, why don't we turn on this quality auto aspect. Now what this is doing is Cloudinary has some incredibly simple transformations out of the box. This is automatically going to compress the image without impacting the visual quality. Again, all of this can be done with Cloudinary's URL API, but because this Cloudinary Laravel SDK has this out of the box, this is what I am using for this particular component. So let's go ahead and take a look at the images now. So this is both the format change to the format parameter change so that we're changing the format of the images as well as 
initializing that auto transformation to automatically change the quality to compress it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this image now. So with no, both of these turned on, we now have a 996 kilobyte image. Let's take a look at this one. 1.6 megabytes. So we still went from on average one and a half to two and a half megabytes of images. And now we're compressing them as well as changing the format of those images. But can we take this one step further? And I believe, yes, we can, because now we can change that image size. You can see here that on average, we're only displaying 300 by 375 pixels on this image. Of course, my screen is a lot smaller for this recording, but let's say maybe 500 by 650 pixels on a high, higher res screen, because the full image is 3000 by 4000 pixels, give or take. So can we do this? I think we can. Let's go to our image component. This is where all of our images are being shown as we scroll. And we're just going to do width equals, we'll go ahead and do 500 and height equals, let's go ahead and do, let's do 750 actually. Now let's take a look at how this changes our images. Now let's go ahead and inspect because you can see here that of course, we are seeing images load a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and do a hard refresh as well. And you can barely see any difference, but that's because we're shrinking down those images drastically. Images that were incredibly large before. We changed the format, we changed the file size, we changed the compression, and now we're changing the image size itself. So this image, which used to be 1.8 megabytes, is now 65.3 kilobytes. This image, which even with after the compression and file changed was 1.8 megabytes. Now it is 51 kilobytes. And you can see how those three things, compressing the image, changing the file size, as well as changing the image size that we're displaying, changes how much you're actually presenting to your users drastically. Now we already saw how easy it is to upload images to Cloudinary using the Laravel Cloudinary SDK package, but why don't we take a deeper dive into that and you can watch this video right now.